Are the markets about to crash and crash big? Are the markets starting a new bull run and run big? I'm Bagadon at StockMarketCaddy.com and today is Saturday, March 25th at about 10 a.m. We are robotic mechanical traders. We trade primarily intraday. We trade with surgical precision in highly liquid futures markets. But sometimes we will go out in distance, weeks, months, and use options where we can define our risk. Right now, there's a lot of noise in the markets. A lot of podcasters, markets going to crash, markets are going to rally. And it's natural that this happens because the markets have pulled back and they have rallied. The question is, what is the next move? Now, I'm not going to show you intraday traffic because it, that is intraday, but it's the end of the week. And I wanna give you a view of the S&P futures market on a weekly basis using a chart that we're very fond over called line break, three line break. Now, I'm not gonna get into great detail here about how three line break works. But what I wanna show you, and this is going back a couple of years, green is obviously up, red is down. This was a pullback, a dip to be bought. This was a dip to be bought. This potentially could have been a sell, but sharply reversed. This was a dip to be bought. This was a dip to be bought. This was to be sold. And I'm going to explain in a moment why. Because you're probably saying, well, you're looking back in hindsight. No, stay with me. We are, but I'm going to define it for you. This is a dip to be bought. Dip to be bought. Dip to be bought. Dip. Dip. Even here was a dip and then some, something markedly changed and this was to be sold. This is a rip to be sold. You want to be short. This is a rip to be sold. This is a rip on a weekly basis to be sold and this is a, reap, uh, a rip on a weekly basis to be sold. Why? This indicator down below is what we call our, our GPS near indicator. Now this is an indicator in and of itself, this chart, it shows momentum, but this also shows momentum. The reason why these were dips to be bought was the momentum was strong. Just in here, as you see a little bit of yellow, potentially could have faded that a little. But when the, when the rip came back, we were once again in strong momentum. This, which was the COVID low, could have been sold because the momentum totally dissipated. But when it came back, look what happened to momentum. In this whole run, all these little feints, and they are feints, they were just dips, opportunities to get long. But something dramatically changed right in here, right here. This is where the momentum got sucked out of the market. And now as we rally, you want to be selling. And you can see here, even with these rip ups, there's no upside momentum. Even this past week, folks, prices cannot rise. They can, they can, let me put it this way, they can rise a little bit, but they cannot hold those highs and they cannot make new highs if there's no momentum. There is no momentum in this market. Now, can we go higher a little bit? Yes, but for us, it is a rip to be sold these are no longer dips to be bought because there is no market momentum. 
Let me show you something else. If you are a long-term investor, I'm going to change this view to a monthly view in this highly specialized chart. This goes back some 20 years. Now this is going to reduce some of the noise, but this is where we are. These were dips. You see? And on a monthly basis, this is what the S&P had done. And you can see the momentum just sucked out of the market. Now in the past month, you know, it has risen a little bit, but there's just no momentum in this market. <clears throat> Anything going up, going up any higher is not an opportunity to get long. It's an opportunity to sell. I'm Bagadon at stockmarketcaddy.com. We do not get caught up in the narratives of the day, the noise. We're active traders. We admitted that right in the um, right up front, and we trade intraday minutes, specialized charts on an intraday basis. But on the weekends or at the end of the month, we can slow it down and offer a view of the overall markets. No discussions about inflation, deflation, interest rates. I mean, that's all part of it. But it's very, very clear to see because you see the way we approach it is we just want to track money flow, money flow. This is likely to fail on a monthly basis. And when it does, the next level of support will be down in here that will get need to get tested. That is 2600 on the S&P. 2500. Now that may take months. That may be in the fall, but we are most certainly headed down in our view. Good luck, everybody. You are welcome to visit our website, stockmarketcaddy.com. You are welcome to call us 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And yes, I'm in the office this morning. I'm in the office most, most Saturday mornings from early in the morning to about noon, and then again on Sunday afternoons, but you can call any day, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. You can call and talk about the markets, what you've been doing, what's working, what isn't working. If you have any questions about who we are, you can reach me at 813-758-8263. Be careful, everybody.